Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing a set of advanced wheel locks for my 2019 Toyota Tacoma. These installation steps will apply to just about any vehicle, so let's get right into the required tools. To get your current lug nuts off, you'll need a lug wrench. So if you aren't sure where yours is located, there's most likely one stored in your spare tire area. Mine, however, was located under my passenger's rear seat here in this storage area. You'll also need a torque wrench with a matching socket to ensure you don't accidentally under or over tighten the locks once they're on the stud. If you don't have one, no worries. Heading to your local tire shop and asking them to spot check your installation would be the safest bet. So with that, let's get right into the unboxing. So these locks are made in the USA by a self-proclaimed mom and pop small business. So I'm super happy to be supporting them rather than buying some cheaper alternative. The packaging they use feels nice and solid. All of my research online led me to this product with regards to being highly durable, reliable, offering the best protection against common methods of theft. Opening this guy up, we can see that we've got the black locks, which is the finish that I selected. I think they also offer silver. A uh, small packet of paperwork, as well as the key for the locks. Uh, I learned that most of the standard wheel lock styles can easily be defeated with relatively common tools, and this is supposed to make that process much more difficult for thieves due to this design. So pulling the key out now, let's take a look at how this design actually works. Inside, there are these multiple layers of key plates, which will align and mesh with the lock's radial grooves. When fitting the lock and key together, you might notice that there's a little bit of play. What you're looking for is to rotate the key until you can find a fully seated connection. Taking a look at the paperwork they include, there's both a sticker and a magnet with the key code that you can reference in case you ever need to request a replacement key from the company. As mentioned earlier, there's a warning about only using a torque wrench to install these, and opening those up will find more detailed instructions. Final prep work, before we start taking those lug nuts off, we're going to set the torque on our wrench by looking in our vehicle's manual. My spec of 83 foot-pounds happen to be located in the changing of flat tire section. With the parking brake set, we'll head outside and crack off that first lug nut. Make sure you're going lefty-loosey and feel free to put some body weight into it. There's some serious torque to overcome here to get these off. Next, screw the wheel lock onto the wheel stud and only go about hand tight here. Next, align the key to the wheel lock and ensure it's fully seated. I made the mistake of misaligning the key and marred up the inside of it a bit. The lock itself wasn't damaged in the slightest, things were all good, but just something to keep in mind. Grab your torque wrench and wait for those satisfying clicks. That's one wheel done, three more to go. I'm gonna to continue to select that top lug nut in relation to that center cap, just for symmetrical purposes. Adding this upgrade is super easy. It's just a matter of cracking off that old lug nut, installing the new one and torquing it down. Overall, I'm super happy with how these turned out and I think they're gonna offer some great protection for my wheels. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like or comment. We'll be doing all kinds of educational installations, tutorials, things like that here on the channel. And uh, thanks for watching.